Hey, I'm back, and today I want to talk about live action adaptations of anime and manga. So, believe it or not, I was actually going to do this last week, but I decided to put it off and I did another video. And this week I thought I should do it, and I was actually, you know, I had perfect timing because the new Death Note was released on Netflix, which is a remake of a Japanese manga and anime. Although, to be honest, I haven't seen either the manga or the anime. Everyone told me, oh, it's really good, just watch it, but I didn't do it. But I have watched the live action movie, but. Yeah, it was, I was a bit let down. It wasn't as good as people told me, but then again, it is the live action adaptation. So I want to talk about three problems they often have. The first problem they often have is they're just too short. Manga are usually written in like lots and lots of chapters. So I'm trying to think if there's any manga that's, I'm sure there are, but like usually a manga is about like 20 chapters to like hundreds of chapters. They usually don't have like, like five chapter mangas and that's about like the length of a movie so what they do is they oftentimes try to compress everything into these short stories and it doesn't work because obviously you can't put that much story into that short time so they gloss over things they take out things and this really hurts the story because one of the great things about lots of manga is they develop lots of different characters so you know, you kind of grow to love these characters, you know, through their adventures. And you see like, oh, there's one character, they're like this, but then they change somehow. And it's not just the main character, but also the side characters, which makes them, you know, lovable and why people enjoy the show. But that doesn't really happen. And it can't happen if the movie's too short. And that's one of the things that I think is one of the downfalls of live adaptations of manga. The next thing, I think this happens mostly in Hollywood movies. I'm not sure if this happens so much with Japanese live action remakes, but romance subplots. So of course they do have romance in manga and anime sometimes, but not all of them do. And even when they do, they're not always such a big part of the story. But I don't know what the obsession is with Hollywood and having like romance in there. But they overblow it and often ends up ruining the movie because the romance scenes like aren't that strong and they're trying to balance the romance with the action or intrigue or mystery or something else. And it really just doesn't work. They should just take that out altogether and they probably have a better movie. It takes up too much time in something that, as I said before, doesn't have enough time in the beginning. Get rid of that. And the last thing, what I think is probably one of the biggest mistakes is Either make it like an anime or don't. One of the movies I really enjoyed recently is uh, Scott Pilgrim Saves the Universe. That's good because it's kind of like an anime style, although it's actually a traditional movie. It's not, is it based off a comic book? Maybe it is, I don't know. But anyways, the style of it, it wasn't trying to be realistic. It was, you know, really over the top and kind of crazy with special effects and everything. And I appreciated that and I liked it because it was very, the stylistic elements of it were very, you know, like, nice to look at, and I think it m went well with the film. However, lots of times, they don't try to do that with anime. They try to make it like, oh, this is real life, but then it just has, like, various crazy things in it. Like, for example, in Death Note, the character L was always, like, sitting on chairs, like, kneeling on them, and it didn't make any sense. It looks good in a anime or manga, but it's too weird in real life. And lots of the other things he was doing is just like, this is stupid, don't put that in the in the movie. Just adapt it so it's like something maybe strange, but something somebody might actually do in real life. Stop trying to give these little like Easter eggs if it's gonna ruin the movie. Just make it like something that could happen in real life. Don't have it like half anime style, half realistic. Either be all anime and have it look, you know, really, stylistic like Scott Pilgrim or do it all realistic. Stop trying to put them together. And my last point is not really one of the three, but if you can't do a manga or anime justice, just don't do it. Recently, I guess what, a year ago or two years ago, that Attack on Titan came out in Japan. They did a live action remake. And I thought, why? You don't have the special effects and CGI skills to pull this off convincingly. One of the main plots of the story is all the characters are, I guess, white. They're not Japanese, 
but you can't get enough actors to fill those roles. Like, the only person that's supposed to be Asian in there is Mikasa. The rest of the people aren't. So then you just kind of messed up a plot point with it. On top of that, the special effects don't look good. And besides that, that's like one of the main things about Attack on Titan, at least the first two seasons. If you don't have that, you don't really have anything. So just don't do it. And same thing with the Dragon Ball movie, which was terrible. I was like, can you actually make it look like Dragon Ball Z? If you can, do the movie. If you think, eh, it's gonna cost too much. Uh, well, I don't think we can do everything because, you know, it really won't fit with my vision. Just don't do it at all. You don't need to take some, like, franchise and then turn it into live action. Just do your own idea of a live action movie that's good. Do that. Don't call it Dragon Ball. Actually, with that movie, just don't make it at all. That was terrible. Uh, Death Note, I don't know if it's as bad as I should say don't make it at all, but change it. Like, redo it. Rethink what you're doing. <sighs> Anyways, those are, those are just my opinions. Uh, you leave your own opinions below. Do you think they should be remaking anime and manga in live action form? And what do you think they could do to make it better? Also, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that. And until next time, see you.